Frank, what do you say we get started because it is hot. Oh, yes. You know, with this uh, El Nino weather we've been having this year, it is so hot. And, you know, right here at City Mill, we've been selling so many fans and air conditioners. Yeah. I mean, even myself, you know, I have a little workshop. Mm -hmm. My workshop, there's no air conditioner. So I'm here working on projects and I'm sweating. The temperature outside 90, 95 degrees. So I figured, how can I keep myself cooler? And I don't want to go and invest in a air conditioner that could cost several hundred dollars. Let's, and, get, let's get a shot. Know, here we have a shot of air conditioner. So what I decided, yeah. I'm going to make the poor man local style air conditioner. Make an air conditioner? Yeah, I'm going to make one. And so basically, <laughs> I got a five gallon bucket from City Mill. Yeah. Right? With a cover. I got a bag of ice. What? I have a regular table fan. Uh-huh. I'll show you what I did. So basically, I got a scrap piece of PVC plumbing pipe that I had. Okay, this is just, uh, yeah, just cheap, right? Yeah, inch and a half PVC pipe, cut it into four lengths. And then with a hole saw of the same diameter, okay. I drilled three holes. And of course, you can, you can make more than three. And so what, what, what ended up with is right here, you can see. Yeah. Move this one out of the way. Yeah, move that one out of the way. So you can see right here, mm -hmm. five gallon bucket yeah. with three PVC pipes. And so what, what we're gonna do now is because, you know, this is not insulated. What I did was I, I had an old piece of foam. Okay. You can see. Has to be waterproof, I'm guessing. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be. But it, the main thing is you want to insulate the bucket so that the right. ice will last longer. The so, ice. yeah, so, so what? So, I, mean, I mean, of course, you don't have to go out and buy bags of ice. You know, a bag of ice costs you maybe $2, but you could freeze a milk carton you know, okay. you, you, uh, and, and put it in your refrigerator so you can make your own ice. This ice just goes right into the, the insulated <laughs> bucket, right? Okay. You, now, the top. The top yeah. of the five gallon lid, you, uh -huh. you have to cut a hole in the diameter of the fan you're gonna use. So you would just take a utility knife, okay. trace along, cut, just like I did here. Oh, okay. So then this goes right on top of the bucket, snap it down. Yeah. You take your fan, place it right over. So, so you would cut the hole depending on what kind right. of fan you Right. Had. Of course, now the more powerful the fan, yeah. you know, you put a Vernardo fan in there and you're going to feel some cool air. <laughs> well, I, I still don't understand. So it blows on the ice and it comes right. out here? Right. So, so when you turn on the fan, yeah. what's going to happen is the temperature, if you're standing within three feet of it, yeah. the temperature is going to drop between six and ten degrees. Well, you can already feel it. Yeah, you can already feel the cool air, right? And so if you're doing a little project, you're working in your workshop, yeah. a bag of ice like this can last four to five hours. Four to five hours okay. of cool air as you're doing your project. And the cost of doing this, very inexpensive. You know, the bucket itself is three to four dollars. <laughs> the ice is yeah. free if you make your own. All you need is a little fan. And you get the Amazing. poor man local style air conditioner. Now what we need to do, right? Hook it up to a battery, put them in the car. I'm quite, you know, I, people do these even with ice coolers uh -huh. yeah, because it's already insulated. Yeah, oh if you yeah. have an old ice cooler, drill some holes. And of course, the more ice you put in the bucket, the cooler it's going to get. You know, I saw a guy on a motorcycle once. He right. took a bag of ice, he put it on his handlebar so he's riding for the cool <laughs> air blow on him, but also the water. <laughs> right. It's a good one, Fred. Yeah. By the way, if you have anything you'd like to hear tips on, Email info at boomatai.com and uh, Frank will see if he can get to it. Okay. So for me, the big question is, what did they do with the rest of the animal?